Do you want to know how to get this glowy pumpkin pet? Of course you do. Let me show you how to do it. This is the Sorcerer Squash. Oh my gosh, this word is always giving me so much trouble, so I apologize for my pronunciation, but this is a pet that you get from doing the pumpkin hunt. I haven't actually posted a pumpkin hunt guide yet, just because I've been busy doing other videos, but I am going to post it tomorrow, and until then you can literally just watch the videos that I made the previous years about the pumpkin hunt guide, but I'll still show you all of the information and all of the instructions in this video so you'll still be able to get this pet. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you do, make sure to subscribe, it really means a lot and now let's get into it. So as I said before, you actually get this pumpkin from doing the pumpkin hunt. First, to unlock the pumpkin hunt, go to Galloper's Keep and well, go to the giant pumpkin that has the yellow exclamation point and accept the quest for the pumpkin hunt. You then have to go through the portal to Jasper's pumpkin farm and there you're going to be met with a cutscene and after the cutscene is done, you have to go and accept a quest from Jasper and that is when the fun starts. There's a group of pumpkins on his like pumpkin patch and you basically have to click on the big one then you have to find all of the three small ones bring them back to the big pump and that is it once you do that you get the reward talk with jasper again and accept your rewards then go back to galloper's keep and accept the daily quest from the big pumpkin so that you're gonna have another pumpkin hunt and once you're done with that, go back to Jasper's farm and next to the notice board, there is a small pumpkin with a daily activity. It's not even a daily because you can keep doing it infinitely and it also gives you 50 Yorvik shillings, which is honestly pretty nice. Okay, so first I think it's best that I show you all of the locations, all of the possible pumpkin locations. The locations are the same as all of the previous years and in the video where I show you all of the locations, I didn't have the pumpkins, but I will still show you the general area of where they spawn as well as the coordinates, so here that is.
in the old trail, wandering along, walking through a land, a land they're calling doubt. A long, long time ago, this land was colorful, filled with love and joy, where no one felt alone. Side by side they go, off to their desires. Although they were still down, down in the hot fire. I've always felt so young, I've always felt so old I live inside a land, a land that is full of doubt I fear it is too late, still aiming for my fate Side by side we go, off to our desires Then we keep on walking, walking through the fire
So again, how to do it, go to Jasper's pumpkin farm and talk with this little squash, little pumpkin and then accept the daily or the just the activity. Go to one of those five areas and complete the pumpkin hunt. Once you complete it, you immediately get the reward. I think the rewards are autumn tokens and maybe some other stuff, but I don't know because I've only done it, I think, once and I already got the pet. I know from the actual daily that the big pumpkin gives you, you do get autumn tokens, but other things, again, I'm just really not sure. So yeah, I got this really adorable pumpkin on my first try, which I'm so happy about. That doesn't necessarily mean that you're also going to get it on your first try, but I've seen so many people say that they got it on their first second or maybe third try so the probability is very high and this is a very quick activity that you can just keep on doing so if you don't get the pumpkin or the squash on the first second and maybe not even on the third try you can still go back to the small pumpkin on jasper's farm and do the pumpkin hunt all over again until you get the squash but honestly it's so cute it's so glowy and it looks so unique it's a free pet that is really easy to get i think one of the easiest in this festival actually so i hope this helped and that you get it but let me know if you already got it and let me know if you named it and what you named it mine does not actually have a name so I think I'll just call it Bob. But yeah, again, I just hope you enjoyed and that this video was helpful and I'm gonna see you in my next one. Bye!